what up today. So, today I kind of have a confession to make to you. I bought the house April 6th of 2015 and I bought the truck April 14th of 2016. Over that time I have towed this trailer around five or six thousand miles. The truck does the job just fine as long as I'm not trying to push the truck as long as I'm not trying to go faster than the, than the truck wants to go up a hill or anything, as long as I'm not pushing the truck beyond its limits, the truck does great pulling this trailer. My confession is, I've had brake issues the whole time that I've been pulling this trailer with this truck. The other vehicles, the other truck that, well, the other two trucks that I've pulled this trailer with, they were, they were completely fine. They didn't have any brake issues or any light issues. I bought this truck and started pulling the trailer and I automatically had a passenger brake light and a passenger tail light that did not work. My marker light worked, but my brake light and my tail light did not work. Well, magically, I found a video on YouTube. I've searched forums. I've searched all over the internet, and I have not found the information. I've, I luckily found a video yesterday on, on YouTube, and there's fuses for your trailer lights on these power strobes. I didn't know that. When you search the forums, there's no one that tells you that. They all tell you to check your grounds, check your wires. They don't tell you to check the fuses. Yes, I replaced my fuses. My trailer lights work again. So we were we went down to the the RV dealer here in town, and I started talking to the salesman and I was telling him what my brake controller was doing. My brake controller has gotten to the point where when I step on the brakes, I do brakes for two to three seconds and then they disappear. I did, my trailer brakes drop. I still have truck brakes, but my trailer brakes drop. If I pump, I get trailer brakes back again. Same, two to three seconds, and then they drop. So, it's anticipatable. As long as I keep pumping my brakes, and I start slowing down early, we're good. But it's not something that I like. I don't like having to do that. I don't like having that issue. I don't like the fact that there's times that we'll go down the road and all of a sudden I'll feel the trailer just start start surging back there. I'll look down at my brake controller and my brake controller is bouncing around. 0, 0 0.2, 1, 1.0, 1 1.8. And it's just bouncing all over the place. I'm like, what the crap is going on with it? That started just a couple of days ago when we were coming over the mountains. We were at a gas station getting fuel. I went to pull away from the fuel pumps. When I went to pull away from the fuel pumps, I really had a tug and yank on her to get her to move. Like, why ain't the trailer moving? The brakes were locked up. I reached down and I played with the with the manual brake lever. I couldn't get it to. I could not get the voltage to drop below 1.8. Shut the truck off. Turn the truck back on. Same issue. Go unplug the the trailer from the the controller. Come back up, play with the controller, make, make sure that it, it, it says no, no connection. Went back, plugged it back in, started the truck back up, the issue went away. Yeah. Well, I don't wanna keep fighting this controller. I don't wanna keep having these weird little issues, these weird little problems. I don't wanna keep pumping my brakes anymore. So, after my discussion with the, uh, with two different, with the, a, with the parts guy and with the service guy down at, at the local dealership in town, they've come to the conclusion that it's my brake controller. And I agree with them. That's what I've been thinking it is. I just needed someone else to confirm their suspicions on it. 
before I was willing to spend the money. So, this bag right here is everything that I picked up yesterday at the RV dealer. We'll start with the with the, the least the less fun stuff. How about bumper caps for the for the bumper? Yay! This thing is actually pretty cool. You can expect a review on this. A zip breakaway cable. So this is a coiled cable for your emergency brakes on your trailer. Because I have issues with my plug on the bumper, every once in a while, the trailer, the trailer wires just slip out of the plug. I don't want to fight that issue anymore. So I bought a new plug and I bought a new mount for it. And then this is the big thing. This is what this video is about. Here is the new cable and the new controller. Hopefully this controller fixes the weird dropout issue that I have with the brakes. We'll find out in a couple of days. Today is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday we move from this spot directly behind the camera to that, that other spot over there. I'm gonna install all this stuff. We're gonna test it during the move, make sure that it all works good, make sure that we're happy with it all. See if we have this brake issue anymore. Hopefully this solves everything. Hopefully this fixes all of my problems. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you have something to say, throw in the comment section down below. Maybe me and you have a little bit of a discussion. If you'd like to share this video, then please share this video. And don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna be missing out on so much good content. I will see you on the next one. Whoa.